Hey, it's Mel. Welcome back to Scent Story. Today we are talking about one of my favorite fragrances. I have had this fragrance for so many years. I actually had it when I was a little kid and it's called Escape by Calvin Klein. I'm sure you've heard of it. <laughs> this is for women. There is an escape for men, but today let's just talk about the one for women. This box is honestly so plain for how complex this fragrance is. Um, it's just a plain old regular box. I mean, maybe it's supposed to look like a shipping box or something. It came out in, it was, yeah, it was in 1991. And yeah, it's maybe they're going for something back then. I'm, I can't remember what the, uh, <laughs> the reasoning was behind it. But this fragrance is a floral aquatic. And yeah, you would not guess that from this very, very simple box. So here it is out of the box. This is just the, is it a 50 or, hold on. This is the 50 milliliter one. I, the cap just fell out, <laughs> off. Um, so yeah, this is just a 50 milliliter one. I'm kind of used to seeing the bigger one, so double the size. Um, sometimes I know that when they're making things a little bit smaller, sometimes they make it like wider, or shorter, or whatever. This one, uh, just imagine it doubled in height. Again, the bottle is very simple, like just really, really basic. It says Escape on top, Calvin Klein, super simple bottle. It does have a little bit of weight to it. So it's like, it's nice and, um, I don't know, like it, it feels, I don't know if it feels like really, really high end or anything like that, but it feels sturdy, you know? <laughs> um, but again, it doesn't evoke the, the marine kind of watery floral goodness that is inside. <laughs> so I'm just having another smell here because, oh my God, this takes me back like crazy. I literally would wear this when I was like a kid and a teenager. And if I went to um, like on vacation with friends or family, uh, usually we'd go to Florida and this just literally smells like Florida to me. It smells so, so nice. It smells like a vacation. So let's get into the plethora of notes. I'm just gonna read them off because there are a ton. And this is oh, it's such a beautifully complex fragrance. I've never smelled anything quite like it. There are fragrances that I, I suppose they do smell a little bit marine and, and floral and there is that blend. Nothing is, nothing compares to this. It's, uh, it's so nice. <laughs> so without further ado, the top notes are melon, chamomile, marigold, tagets, tagets, tagets. Looks like a form of flower from what I can see. <laughs> uh, apricot, hyacinth, oak moss, apple, which I can really smell the apple, um, coriander, mandarin orange, yes, black currant, cassia, lychee, and ylang, I can never say ylang ylang. Ylang Lang. I'm saying it wrong. Just let me know. Um, the middle notes are peach, which I usually hate. I usually, if I put peach on me, it stinks. Like it smells like BO. It's really nasty. I don't know what it is, but um, peach is in here. It smells really nice. Um, so yeah, middle notes are peach, lily, lily of the valley, carnation, which you don't smell that often, but now that I think about it, yeah, you can really smell that. Um, rose, jasmine and cloves i don't feel like you can smell the cloves that much but okay okay well yep there they are okay <laughs> um and then the base notes are oak moss again musk amber sandalwood vetiver cedar and vanilla it's all there <laughs> all of it is there so since it is an aquatic floral, you can guess that it is more of a summertime fragrance. To me, I love it on a hot day. I love it at the beach. It just feels so fresh and vibrant. And it's it's one of the best, um, you know, kind of vacation <laughs> scents that I, I can imagine. And I mean, it's called Escape. So it's it's made for the vacation, for a vacation. So yeah, I would say spring, summer tops. I wouldn't wear it in the fall, really, unless you're going down south. Um, winter, absolutely not. Uh, daytime, for sure. I think in the summertime you can get away with wearing it at night. But for the most part, this is just a daytime, go to the beach, um, maybe go out for brunch, that kind of thing. Uh, you could wear it to like a restaurant or something in the evening, but it really depends on where you are. Um, I would say this is more of like a casual kind of fragrance.
So if you like this video and you like this type of content where I talk about kind of more classic fragrances, certainly this has been a classic in my life. I've worn it so many times. I have so many good memories attached to it. And uh, I, I just love talking about it. So if you'd like more, I would love it if you consider subscribing and uh, I will talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>